Well, in entertainment news, the Marvel Universe about to introduce a new hero, and there has been lots of anticipation surrounding her. Captain Marvel is the first female-led superhero in the MCU, and playing her is Oscar-winning actress Brie Larson. Entertainment reporter Sandy Kenyon spoke with her one-on-one -on -one at a red carpet event. He's here with more. Sandy. Dave, first Wonder Woman, now Captain Marvel. They are further proof all superheroes should not be men. Slide over Superman, move back Batman, make room for a new generation of women making the most of their moment, as I found out at that screening in Lower Manhattan last night. Where's your head at? In the clouds. Brie Larson stars as a pilot who gets energized, becomes Captain Marvel, and makes history as the first female superhero that Marvel has ever placed at the center of a blockbuster which is why this performer is now the center of attention wherever she goes. It doesn't really feel like me, to be honest. I feel like that's how I've been able to like keep myself pretty grounded, is I just feel like I'm an embodiment of a symbol. So I see it as just a character that's separate. It's the latest stop on a remarkable journey for Larson, who's acted on screen since childhood, but only became a star after she won an Oscar playing a mom confined to a single room. This is our chance. Larson made the most of her big chance, but told me at the time, success required an adjustment. And to be a social person when I really like to retreat and be inside is a really new experience, but so valuable. It's so valuable for the shy kid to try something new. Playing Captain Marvel would increase her fame exponentially, which is why she took a pause before accepting this role. Yeah, it was something I had to spend a lot of time thinking about. It's a big commitment, and um, not so much I had reluctance about the project itself, but just about all that comes with it, like this stuff. How were your concerns answered? I mean, it's kind of boring, but I just closed my eyes and like sat with myself for a while, asked for a little bit of time, and realized that I'm more clever than I was giving myself credit, and I shouldn't put limitations on myself. When it comes to her career, everything in Brie Larson's past has led to this moment. Two decades of acting, much of that time spent laboring in obscurity, has put this performer at Hollywood's pinnacle. And she won't turn 30 years of age until next fall. Captain Marvel is from Disney, owned by the same parent company as ABC7. David Liz previews tonight, opens tomorrow.